Through These Doors is presented by Gate City Bank. What can be done today to create a better way of life? We can end hunger, homelessness, and violence. Acts of kindness, compassion, and teamwork bring us together and keep our community safe. Every day at Gate City Bank, we're building a better tomorrow and a better way of life. You know, I think it's a tale of two years, right? Uh, you know, we were we were asked to uh, to go play the majority of our games on the road in the first half and even in the second half of the season on the road early on here. And a lot of things due to COVID, right? Uh, the schedule had to be shifted around and, and our guys were very open to that. And uh, you got to get admire that, you know, and sometimes you go into it with a negative attitude, but our guys were very positive and, and uh, you got to look at the everything in life. And that's what we truly believe is a glass half full approach. And, you know, if you look at the glass half full, we got to spend a lot of time with each other on the road, which helps us to bond together and meld together as a team. And I think that was outstanding and made our team closer. Uh, now I think, you know, uh, we get the benefit of playing at home. Uh, we're a tight team and now, We've been together for a while, and now we get to play in the, the the confines of the Ralph Engelstead Arena here and where we've had success. And it doesn't guarantee us success right now, but if we play to our identity and play the way we need to, uh, like in years past, uh, it's, it's a benefit to us. So. After traversing all the road games this season, the news of the NCHC tournament coming to Grand Forks brightens the guys' spirits. Yeah, it means a lot. Um, I haven't played a game in the Ralph in over a calendar year. Well, it feels like that. And yeah, to finish uh, to finish off all the games on the uh, at home is uh, is going to be special for me. My freshman year. Um, we played down at the X for the Frozen Faceoff, um, and you know I think the biggest thing that stuck out with me from that experience was just how uh, passionate the UND fans are in those uh, Twin City areas and the surrounding um, area. Um, I mean, each game we played, you could see all the all the green jerseys, and you know it just meant a lot to us to have all those people uh, come out and cheer us on. But I think it's going to be even more special having uh, uh, the NCHC uh, playoffs in Grand Forks this year. Coach Barry feels like he has connected with his players on a deeper level despite the different circumstances to start out the year. This year especially, you know, we get all involved and consumed with the, the game of hockey and preparing what we have to do to try to have success on a weekend and then obviously competing on the weekend at a high level. But I think uh, the individual right now and how they're doing it, coping with uh, a year that everybody's never ever been through with the, with the COVID issues and different things. And, and communication is a big deal, like encouraging uh, us as a staff to communicate with our players, player to player, uh, and, and just kind of just seeing how everybody's doing on a daily basis. That's a huge, huge deal. Because you know what? Uh, I think hockey players are, are people that kind of keep things inside a little bit and, and you know when you ask somebody how they're doing they're, the automatic response is yeah doing great where you really have to make sure that you communicate and see and, and if, if somebody needs help and uh, uh, then, then you're there there for that and I think the word is that it boils down to is care and our culture really cares for each other. Whether it was in the in the pod in Omaha where uh, you know we had the little nest there and they were able to come down and hang out with us and you know play some pool and uh, I think that's a big thing with, with players and coaches, just being able to have a little bit of a bond and not too much of a strictly player-coach relationship, just being able to you know, feel comfortable and 
and uh, you know they show that they care and they care for us and obviously I think that helps with uh, you know the play on the ice making sure that you have you know you care about the coaches just as much as they care about you so an event of this magnitude at the Ralph opens the door for future generations of players to get a glimpse of UND hockey. I'm sure there's going to be a, a lot of people that tune into it. Um, and for my brother especially, I know he watches most of our games. And, you know, I think it just gives them uh, kind of an insight on how we play and what the, uh, what the NCHC is like. Um, the parity in the NCHC is incredible from one to eight. And, you know, there's no easy weekends. So I think it just kind of goes to show how strong our conference really is.